And as we told you earlier, the derailment has shut down T-Service in and out of the city. John Delano is live now with more on how the Port Authority is dealing with all of this. John, it's just a horrible mess. Paul, obviously this derailment has caused major havoc for the Port Authority. We're out here at Potomac Junction in Dormont, which up until about 30 minutes ago was the end of the line. But the Port Authority has just announced that both the Blue Line and the Red Line trains are running all the way through to South Hills Junction. That's right by the tunnel before you go in to the Station Square area. But at that point, you're going to have to take a bus up over the mountain, over the hill, and directly to Wood Street. That will be the next stop. The real question, of course, is how long is this going to continue? Let's take a listen to what some officials had to say earlier today. The trains did collapse down onto the T tracks, so we can expect a long rush hour tomorrow morning. We have been able to confirm that we can energize our Brown Line section, so tomorrow anyone riding the train will be going up and over and coming back down around. So if you are taking transit in from the south side tomorrow, definitely allow more time. Yes, indeed, allow plenty of time. You know, some 25,000 people take the tea to work on the weekdays. And there's no question there's going to be some delay tomorrow, Monday morning. Now, the Port Authority is considering whether or not they can run a train up over Mount Washington, really through the Allentown area. But they haven't made a decision on that. Public safety officials are worried that it might shake a little bit and cause the derailment, the train to fall down onto the lines at the Station Square. So they're not sure they're going to go forward with that. So it's just as likely that folks taking the T on both the red line and the blue line into work tomorrow are going to have to take the T down to the South Hills Junction, then hop a bus up over the mountain down to Wood Street. We're going to have much more coming up on our broadcast later this evening. The Port Authority has not made a final decision on how exactly to ha help out commuters Monday morning. We're going to have the latest coming up on our broadcast on KDKA later tonight. Live in Dormont, I'm John Delano, KDKA TV News.